Hi, this is Mary Michon at Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio. Today we're going to talk about amaryllis bulbs and how to care for them now that it's fall so you can get them to rebloom this winter. So amaryllis bulbs are a traditional holiday favorite for everyone because they're beautiful blooms throughout the winter and I never like to throw mine away. So if you're like me and you've kept your amaryllis bulb in a pot and you took it outside, I probably would have advised you if you asked, take your amaryllis bulb outside, let it get sunlight, let it force some energy down into the bulb. But what do you do in the fall when it's time to bring it back inside so you can get it to bloom? I typically say sometime in September and October, you wanna tip your pot over if it is outdoors or if it's inside, stop watering it. If you tip your pot over and it's outdoors, it continues to get that cooling chill as our temperatures start to drop. And a pre-chilled bulb helps it set blooms better. So you lay it on its side, you let it go very dry. Many times the foliage will start to dry back. That's not a bad thing. That's really what you wanna see. But a lot of times these bulbs store water for a long, long period of time, up to a month. And so they may not ever turn brown. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So this guy is huge, okay? I stopped watering him probably about a month ago and pulling him out of the pot. His root system is thick and huge. And again, I, I can't put him back in this pot. I'm gonna have to up pot him a little bit. So what I'm going to do, like I do with many of my other plants, I'm gonna tease the roots down here a little bit. I'm gonna take my very sharp knife and I'm gonna take about a third of the root system away, okay? And then these roots are kind of ringing around the pot, which I don't like. So I'm gonna kind of loosen this guy up and then we can either go back into the same pot now because we have some space, or I'm gonna find a bigger pot and up pot it. Because I haven't watered this now, I can see that it's starting to get a little bit wrinkled and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut the foliage off. I'm gonna take a large portion of it off now and I'm gonna kinda of come down and leave just a few inches up here, okay? We're gonna get it in a pot, a new pot. I like it because it kinda of fits in there, but it's got some nice depth down here for the new root system to grow. So I'm gonna pot it up here. You can go right into clay if you want. They are nice and clay and that gives you some, some good heaviness down at the bottom as the roots grow in. And I'm just gonna repot it. Remember when you repot amaryllis, okay? You never completely cover the bulb up. You always leave the top half of the bulb exposed or it begins to rot. I'm gonna give this guy a nice good drink with fertilizer, an average fertilizer, 10, 10, 10, or 20, 20, 20 is fine. I'm gonna give him a good drink now and I'm not gonna give him another drink until I start to see new growth coming out of this, out of this bulb. I'm gonna repot this one back into a plastic pot. I like to put them in plastic and then I drop them into something decorative. And going into clay is a great way too, but you don't have to. It's not always necessary. So I've trimmed the roots. Now I'm gonna trim the top as well because it has been outside. It's really important for your amaryllis bulbs to get cooling temperatures. Otherwise it takes them a very long time to rebloom. So sometimes you may not see them if you time them right, when I bring bulbs in here that have been pre-chilled or pre-cooled in the proper way, I always look at about four to six weeks after I get the bulbs that they're gonna start to show some, some sprouts or some of the, of the color coming. So when you have to redo your pots that have been outside, you may not have them blooming exactly on Thanksgiving or exactly through the December, or January. Sometimes they actually don't bloom again for you until February. But even so, it's so worth the wait. They are so beautiful. And it's really fun to do this on your own. So again, I'm cutting the top of this off here. And I'm going to put it in this pot. And I'm going to just put a little bit of on the soil. I didn't trim a lot of the root system away. I just trimmed a little. I'm going to leave it right at the level that it needs to be. And again, remember, do not cover the bulb completely. It needs to be above ground. I'm just going to push the soil down around the sides. Sorry, squeaks. I'm gonna get it in here. Again, I'm gonna give it a nice good drink with some fertilizer. 
I'm going to just set it somewhere in my house. It doesn't need to be in direct sunlight. And I'm going to wait and see when the new growth starts sprouting at the very center of the bulb. That's all you need to do. Um, and it's just a fun way to reinvent your bulb, get it to bloom again, um, and just be patient. It's really beautiful and it's well worth the wait. Thanks for watching. This is Mary Michonne at Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio.